Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Rayanne, and this is The Groom, and we are joined with the horror show host himself, Brian Gatto. Say hello. hello. He was uh, so kind to ask us to be part of a collab called Corpse Buddies. We discussed the original of My Bloody Valentine on his channel, which we will link down below, and we're going to talk about which is him linking it down below. We're going to talk about the remake. My Bloody Valentine 3D or not 3D because some of us can't see in 3D. Starring <laughs> Jensen Ackles. So the film starts out with our teenagers, young adults, parting it up in a mine. He, of course, kills a whole bunch of people. Happens to be Valentine's Day. So years later bunch of kids get together they're partying in the mine as i said and they decide to pull a kind of cruel prank on tom having one of them dress up as harry warden whom everyone believes to be dead kind of trap him in the mine they all kind of leave him there like jerks and giant d-bags giant d-bags cuts to years and years later tom is coming back to valentine bluff because his father has sadly passed away people are wondering where he's been what's been going on his childhood sweetheart teenage sweetheart is now married to axel who is the sheriff i believe yes and as soon as tom comes back in strange things start happening which are very reminiscent of a certain harry warden we're gonna leave it off here as it is spoiler free and we'll have brian tell us what did you like about this movie? Um, I liked that it was an homage to not only the original film, but 80s horror movies in general. It um, was a fun time. The 3D effects were a bit distracting, but I think they also elevated some of the gore scenes. Mm -hmm. I like the actors and the actresses. They got Tom Atkins in there, which was awesome. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and... Uh, Overall, I think it's just a really fun movie. Mm -hmm. what, what do you guys think? What did you like about the movie? I love Jensen Ackles, mm -hmm. and I I love his I love it I love his acting. He's a very talented actor, and uh, I literally only watched this movie because he was in it. Having never seen the original, I have watched every Jensen Ackles movie. And I came across this in 2009 when it first came out. I was like, a 3D horror movie? What could possibly be wrong? And I completely agree agree with you. Those 3D effects were distracting in some parts. I think they could have not put them in certain parts that they did. But they did actually make the kills really cool. And the, the, the and certain parts of the movie, the three the 3D part of it made it better. What did you like? I um, have a, a different feel of the 3D effects because I can't see the 3D effects. When I went to see it in the theater, I just noticed that everything looked like really exaggerated. There's a part with like a flashlight mm -hmm. or something and it's just like, oh, and I'm like, oh, that looks terrible. Why would you do that? <laughs> but other than that, I felt like the gore was exquisite. I felt like the way that they dispatched people in this film was perfect. 10,000 chef kisses. I loved it so much. There was just, some of it was exaggerated, granted, mm -hmm. because it was 3D, but some of it was also like, that's what made it so fun. You know, seeing just that close up and it was just a little bit more in your face, yeah. which I really enjoyed. I liked that they didn't keep to the exact same storyline because I really don't like that with remakes. I want something new. I want, you know, someone running nude after someone else with a gun because maybe they took a video of them and they're trying to get it back. But then, oh man, you got killed by a guy with a pickaxe. What's that? So interesting. I loved it. And I love Jensen Ackles so much. And he's a phenomenal actor. You might even say he's supernatural. <laughs> oh. Oh. That was awful. All right. Other than her, other than her joke, what did you not like about this movie? The characters. Monster. Do you feel like they weren't as likable? <laughs> yeah, they weren't as. Most of them were not as likable. They always had some sort of. Um, 
dark secret about them. Even the main um her uh, hero uh, is doing something behind his wife's back, and it's like. Why do you need that in the movie? It's like it takes away from any likability you had with the character. It makes you just hate him. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't like some of, like I said, some of the 3D effects. Uh, and I just, the characters were just, I don't know. They were so, I mean, the acting, I'm sorry. The acting was good for the most part. But I felt like a lot, they were just angry a lot too much of the time, especially at the main uh, the other hero guy, potential hero. Mm -hmm. um, they were just angry at him for a reason, but it was overdone. Yeah. Because, yeah. like, um, he comes back to town and he's trying to get back with his old flame who's married to the sheriff. And I okay. get why you're angry with him, but it's right from the get go and it never stops. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like but, overboard on the anger. But do you do you think because of how likable they made the characters in the original, they flipped that for the for the remake and purposely made you not like anybody? I don't think like. So. I don't care if everybody dies. No, I mean, yeah, no, I don't think that if they did that for that reason, it's a terrible idea because <laughs> then you don't like the characters. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it makes nothing relatable besides the cool gore and the pretty good music, actually. The music was done by Michael Wandmacher, I think his name is, mm -hmm. who uh, did the music for Piranha 3D. Um, oh. I know how much you like that movie. I love that movie. I love that movie. Oh. <laughs> it's good. Oh. You and you. You over there. <clears throat> um, I, I know you both love that movie. I will tell you one thing I did not like about this movie is you had to watch it in 3D. You didn't have to watch it in 3D. If you didn't watch it in 3D, you got less of a viewing experience, I feel. Plus, Sometimes when you can't see things in 3D, it's because you already have less of a viewing experience. No, 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 no. What I'm, what I'm <laughs> saying is if you look at like mo movies that come out, and I know this, this movie came out like 11 years ago. Mm -hmm. And that's what you have to realize. But it was they make 2D and 3D versions now. But and this has the, this has both, so you have yeah. you can watch yeah um, so, either one. So, and and there's literally almost no difference between the 2D and the three 3D now. I feel like back then, like this this movie, like you like you said, you get like the big flashlight coming, and you're like. I guess that's a lot cooler in 3D. I feel like it loses some of its luster in 3 3D. This was definitely a gimmick movie mm -hmm. um, in terms of the 3D. And especially because around 2009 when this came out, they had the red and blue 3D glasses. Uh -huh. so that screwed with everyone's enjoyment of the movie because mm -hmm. you saw red and blue the whole time. Uh -huh. And that also takes away from the gore, too, because none of the gore is in red and blue instead of just dark red or light red. Mm -hmm. Red. Bread, red, mm -hmm. um, mm, bread, red. So this it was definitely a gimmick in that regard, and also another th another thing I don't like is that the gore is awesome, the effects suck for the most part because they were practical and they put uh, um, covered it with CGI, so CG, yeah, CGI for a lot of the kills. Yeah, a lot of the blood, a lot of the three D stuff is CGI. Yeah, I, I, that's why I like the kills in the original one more because it's so much more raw. And th this one is just, uh, it's very uh, computer generated. Mm -hmm. It's very animated. And it, it does look real in some scenes, like with uh, Pickaxe going through one of the characters' mouth. And that's obviously practical. And yeah. they, but they ruin it by ripping the, his jaw off and the CG jaw and blood flies at the screen. Like that, That's cool. But it doesn't look 100% real. No. Mm -hmm. Or even like 50%. <laughs> yeah, you're just like, oh. Yeah, you had a great kill going and then you ruined it. You ruined it. What did you not like about the movie? This is a personal dislike. The guy that they got to play Axel, I did not believe he could even grow a mustache. I feel like that was fake. He mm -hmm. did not sell it to me. I felt like he was just a misogynistic poop. And he has a weasel face. He's he like, the biggest d bag in the movie. Even more of a he was even more of a d bag than Axel in the original. For real. And I just there's something I don't know why they chose that particular actor to play him because he doesn't you know emit that 
like toxic masculinity that you expect from someone that's mm. cheating on their wife who has children with like one of their employees at, at the grocery store they own and i just like he did not sell it to me i was like this, i could beat this guy up like come on he's yeah, not... just short scrawny little dude yeah mm -hmm. he, he's not going head to head with a uh, axe a, a pickaxe wielding maniac like there's mm -hmm. no way and there's no way that tom would not have just beat him to a pulp i was just no yeah unbelievable like that yeah the there's a lot of unbelievable things in this movie yeah and i was like no 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 i just he didn't sell it for me um, i mean i i get the attraction to it like with uh as you said the naked woman running out and the guy getting killed after trying to get, get away with the footage mm -hmm. um the gore is great for what it was it was gore the music was good um but other than that it's not really a and end up being a great homage to 80s films it even has some of a vibe of an 80s movie yeah mm -hmm. it doesn't look like an 80s movie it just has the feel yeah it definitely has that like early 2000s horror movie feel to it that it's, too like, it's more just like we want to see like a bunch of nudity and violence which i'm totally 100 percent here for it but maybe not like the strongest storyline to support all of that because between all of the the kills and the boobs you need something going on that's going to keep you interested yep and also i want to point out one thing before i forget the mpa rating for this one was ridiculous let me just read it real quick it's rated r for graphic brutal horror violence and increasingly images throughout some strong sexuality graphic nudity and language like there's two graphics in there they usually don't do that well, there's a lot of graphics. Yeah, and it's like it was just a it was just a, a bombastic uh, MPAA rating. It's it's like oh, we have this huge MPAA rating for this horror slasher film. It's gonna be insane. Then you go to see it, and all the effects kind of look like crap. Yeah, <laughs> it's it, it, it feels yeah. like it's one of those things where it's the trailer saying this is the scariest movie you're ever gonna see the most brutal movie made in years and then you're like ah then you see it and you're like no <laughs> yeah. and one that they called the most well the most brutal horror movie of like that year and it will keep you on your edge and then this is me on the couch you fall asleep <laughs> a lot and then I, I like the trailer though it's really cool and also at the end they say um, my bloody Valentine. There's nothing says date movie like a 3D ride to hell. Oh yeah, true, true. Agreed. That's what they say. Very, very, very true. All right. So, what would you rate this movie, El Senor Gato? Um, I'm still torn on a rating. I'll probably go 2.5 or 3 out of 5. So you rate it any higher is that what you're gonna ask <laughs> uh, you rated lower you you would rate it lower than the original you like yeah. it better than this i do because i think that the original just had a lot more in terms of likability uh had more um impactful effects and kills uh the music wasn't i think the remix music is actually a little bit better Except for the theme song that was in the original. That one trumps everything. Yeah. And uh, I also think that the remake just didn't have that special 80s cheese, slice of cheese feeling to it. It just it felt like an 80s movie, but it didn't feel like a cheesy 80s movie, if that makes sense. They were trying to be way too serious. Yeah. And that's why I like it less than the original. But I don't I don't hate the movie. Obviously, it's still a lot of fun. If I hated it, I would have probably given it below a two. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's still a lot of fun. Great homage, great kills for the most part. In terms of effects, it's not that great. The music is great. The acting and characters I can do without. Um, except for I have to agree that Jensen Ackles is pretty good in the movie. Hey. <laughs> I won't say he's my favorite character or anything. My favorite character is probably the wife because she did nothing wrong. True. <laughs> so uh, what what did you guys give it out of five? I will give it a three out of five. I have watched this probably every year on Valentine's Day since it came out because I'm a huge dork. Mm -hmm. It's usually Agreed. this movie and this movie and the original 
or it's Valentine. I just mm. I love holiday movies. <laughs> um, I would give this a four out of five. Other than Evil Evil Dead remake, this is my favorite re remake of any horror movie. Wow! Because mm. I I. Unlike you two, I have absolutely no problem with CGI effects. I know you guys are practical effects snobs. I'm not. Snobs. I, I'm not a snob with it. I just I prefer having yeah. a good blend of practical and CG, not a practical, not a blend of good practical and crappy CG. I just yeah. want all practical. <laughs> I, I like. I would have given it higher on. Honestly, I would have given this. I would have rated it even higher if they wouldn't have covered up good practical effects with CG. I understand you want to make some cgi so you want to do some stuff with cgi you can't do it practical 11 years ago but sometimes it's just good to leave the good practical the good pra practical but i really like this movie and this was done at like probably like the peak of jensen ackles popularity from supernatural he had he had another movie called Devour that he did before this that I, that I really liked. And I, I think the reason why I, I rate it so high is his acting is great. They kept enough from the original to make you, if you were like me and you saw the remake first and you were like, you were like, you know what? I, I would want to go watch the original. And then when I watched the original, I'm like, oh, I know how this is going to end. And then I didn't know how it was going to end. And then I got surprised, and it was and it was really it was really nice that this allowed me to segue back to the original movie. I think that's important for a remake. A remake, if you've never seen the original movie, the remake should make you want to watch the original, and that's what this movie did for me, and that's why I like it so much. And plus, the three D effects were so cool. Okay. All right. Have you guys seen this movie? What are your thoughts? Do you prefer the original? Do you prefer the remake? Did you see it in 3D or 2D like me? Let us know down below in the comments. Please don't forget to check out our friend Brian Gatto, the horror show host. Where can they find you, Brian? They can find me on Facebook. It's just horror show host. Um, Patreon, my, my Patreons, uh, basically... Uh, Patreon.com slash H slash H slash H S H. Um, my Twitter is just look up horror show host and my YouTube channel is just called, you guessed it, horror show host. And uh, I don't remember all the links, uh, but the, the most all of them have horror show host in there. So it should be pretty easy to pinpoint. And we'll link everything down below in the comments as well as a review with Brian on his channel for the original, as we mentioned in the beginning. So if you have not yet, please do subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. Don't forget to leave a comment down below. Like the video if you did like the video, or you could like the video if you like coal miners and dryers and 3D movies. <laughs> Hit the bell for all notifications of further uploads and live streams. You can find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews. <clears throat> Throat clear. Twitter and Instagram at Reanimator, my solo as well as reviews with the groom, and now with Brian Gatto are available on iTunes. Thank you to the Far Sided Network. Please don't forget to check out all of their awesome creators and content as well. And we hope that uh oh, you have to do your outro. Sorry, bud. Uh, you can find me on Twitch under repeat ray animator. You can also find me on Twitter under repeat groom ray. Uh, I'm a fun fun. I'm a fun follow. Come find me. Follow me. Stalk me. It's fine. I don't care. Follow this fellow. Please don't stalk us. We don't need that. <laughs> and we hope that you all have a wonderful Valentine's Day. If you are with your significant other or you are flying solo, you should probably watch a horror movie. See you later, guys. Bye. Bye. Spread the love. Yes. Scene. And scene. And scene.